Your knights of the round table shall have a task to make them an example in these dark times. Behold, Arthur, this is the Holy Grail. The quest for the Holy Grail. Ah, uh, the Holy Grail. I mean, the Holy Beaker. Almost equally as rare, although fortunately there are multiples of it in the world normally. A common highlight in the 1.0 version of 7 Days to Die is how dang hard it is to find a beaker or two. And I fully agree, because they are rare, with a low or very low probability of appearing in pretty much all areas except one. So follow along and we'll talk about where to find those elusive beakers to increase your chances. First of all, let's talk about loot. This is simply being out and about and looking for it, and in areas where you want to look are where there are these medical supplies, chem piles, because you can find the odd beaker. Or look for the pop and pill crates, because they can also have beakers. It is a low chance, but you can find them. Unfortunately, like I said, low probability. But if you search enough of them, you probably will maybe find one. To increase your chances, make sure you run your quests. While they are still rare, the beaker can show up as a rewards for quests and even more so on tier 3 and tier 4 quest completion, which has a beaker potentially showing up. As always, running quests for the additional rewards, dukes, experience and items is often very beneficial and that includes the chance of finding a beaker. What about airdrops? Yes indeed, you might get a lucky batch of medical supplies which can include that beaker. Though airdrops are rare and fairly infrequent, so I see this more as a bonus. Great if it happens, but it's not something that you really want to specifically pursue just for the beaker, but you want to get it for the general supplies anyway. What about traders? The good news is that beakers can show up as general trader supplies. The bad news is that the probability is probably the worst of all types of supplies that can show up. What you should do instead is head to Jen. Not only is the, she the cutest one, but she's the trader that specializes in medical supplies. That means that she has the highest hey, chance of all the traders to much. have beakers as part of it. And you can go check and you go, oh, unfortunately, no beaker. But she does restock on various days, every three days on default. So go and check her out again. And while you're waiting for that trader supply to reset, just run quest for Jen to try to score beaker through the rewards. Or you if you have multiple gens supplies. in the world, you can go this check all of them. But Jen is there. probably the best way and the best trader to find a beaker. In my playthroughs, I've generally gotten beakers either through quest rewards on completion or from gen. So like many of you, my general looting has not been very good at turning up the beakers. Annoyingly enough, we do need it to craft the chemistry station. Though I admit, I often just buy the damn thing as it seems to show up more frequently than the beaker itself does. But that's how you find yourself a beaker. Now go introduce yourself to Jen and run some quests for her. She will be very, very pleased.